Hi guys, lovely to see you again. Uh, my name is Melissa Banuelos and I am one of the curatorial assistants at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. Um, today I wanted to chat a little bit about uh, one of my favorite pieces from our over 400 piece permanent collection called Western Barns by the artist Ivan Earl. So first, a little bit about Earl. Earl was born in 1916 in New York City, um, but moved with his family to Hollywood, California two years later. At age 10, Earl's father, Ferdinand, challenged his son to either read 50 pages of a book every day or uh, paint a picture every day, and Earl did both. By the time he was 14, um, Earl already had exhibited his work in France, and by the time he was 22, he had his first solo show in New York City. He began working at the Walt Disney Studio in 1951, doing background artwork for Peter Pan. His style evolved through short films, such as Working for Peanuts from 1953 and Pigs is Pigs from 1954, but he is most notable for his overall production design and color schemes of 1959's Sleeping Beauty. Um, he returned to full-time painting in 1966, where he would remain for the rest of his life until his death in 2000, producing oils, uh, watercolors, um, as well as drawings, sculptures, and scratchboards. Um, one of those works includes the oil painting Western Barns from 1973. Earl created a number of paintings and prints of barns usually set in an autumn or winter landscape. In this painting, which measures two feet tall and four feet wide, um, we are presented with a close-up of vivid red barns uh, that encompass the entire composition and seem to extend beyond the frame. What immediately pulls me into the space is the trapezoid of opaque and heavy black, um, which is the roof of the barns, um, that really glisten in person as if they were freshly painted by the artist. Um, this allows me to look at each edge and corner um, and really examine the lines, shapes, and colors uh, that stem from each of these sides. That leads me to the vivacious red hues of the barns um, that use the hidden sun to create clean geometries of light and shadows that are very pleasing to see as they don't overwhelm or compete with the saturation of these hues. And taking um, another step away, we then face with what's on the foreground, which is the bare trees that playfully mimic the lines of the roof um, and the structure of the barn and overall uh, create this very whimsical charm to the composition. It is through these means that Earl offers a window for entering an enchanted world of wonder. And I'm delighted that Western Barnes is one of three paintings um, by Ivan Earl that the Bakersfield Museum of Art was able to accession into its permanent collection two years ago. Um, but that's all for me at the moment. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know uh, what you think about Western Barnes or of Ivan Earl's uh, previous work. Hopefully you continue to stay safe and I'll chat with you soon in a few weeks. See ya!